Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to another part of my Let's Play of Daxter. Today, we are here in this level here. Whew. Sad for sore eyes. We were just about to hit the mother load when these bugs showed up. There are a bunch of eco-crystals out there. Bring them back if you dare. Sorry, what, a, what an awkward way to start. It's like, uh, there's, uh, there's another part of part, Daxter part, level part, whatever. Anyway, so here we are in this strip mine. And you know what? It's pretty damn authentic to the way that the regular strip mine works, in fact. And that's one thing I can definitely appreciate about this game. Um, you know, as we've talked about, you know, with the assets being, you know, uh, lent from the good pals at Naughty Dog. And, you know, it, it, to me, it really does show in levels like this. Like, you can see with the whole, um, what, you know, how they've done the whole, what's the word for it, um, uh, you know, conveyor belt sort of thing that they do, that they, they like to, they like to do that in the, in this regular strip mine. Oh, shit, watch out. Um, oh. Now, this level, you know what? I remember there's sometimes you can have trouble in the strip mine in Jack 2, but this level has its fair share of troubles if you try and rush. If you try and do a crystal fissure, you'll be in trouble. So, word of warning, don't do a crystal fissure, okay? Those enemies there, one of the more irritating enemies in this game, but uh, we shall give it a go regardless. Oh, now that's, to me, don't know about you guys, but I find that, that one quite annoying and with that we have to kill the enemies again which sucks it seems like the sound why does it feel like the sound went low anyway we'll kill them again we should have hit a checkpoint or something like that wait okay we got one of them oh okay anyway um there's some this is sort of the above ground area there's like actually an uh, like an underground sort of bit uh, which I think is it's probably my favorite part of the level actually it looks really damn cool um, now one thing I'm curious about we can hit that and that will go over there I wonder now if we had the flamethrower thing which we don't have yet which is like sort of the, the upgrade and then there's another one after this after that even um, which I forgot about until recently but um, if we had the flamethrower it would be very easy to get over here but I wonder if we could actually make it with our own jump no we can't and hopefully wait you know what let's try it one more time oh that, see that that's that's fairly close that's fairly close I might one more time because I can't resist that's a bit closer ah oh, damn it I reckon if we really did focus you probably could do it but that's all right there's no no real need anyway let's head back and not not on that way in the conveyor, but that's actually not making me move at all. All right, we've got to go through here, collect a bunch of things. So there's twelve, eight of these crystals, almost, uh, almost kind of um, what's the word? Uh, Trash Bandicoot esque. Pretty damn cool. I like them. It's yellow. I mean, sorry. Why would I say yellow? Purple uh, highlighting it, like purple sort of surrounding it, and then oh. Like it's ascended from the heavens or descended, whatever. Who knows what I'm even saying at this point. All right, there you go. So there are 50 and 30 to collect. How, how quick was that for me to pick? figure that out? Ho ho. Ho ho ho. You know what? One thing I don't like about this, and I know that there's been a bit of a discussion with the whole soundtrack thing. you got Not Ordinary in Games saying, you know, I fucking love this soundtrack. you got Johnny saying, oh, not a fan you got other people in, in the middle there, you've got some people saying about how like it makes him feel like he's small, and I guess that's sort of the, the whole orchestra sort of sounds, um, what's the word, sort of the bows and, and um, what's the word, like plucked, what, what, what are the, you know, woodwind, no, is it wood, would be, no, woodwind, I'm trying to think, woodwind, strings, uh, you know, like the trumpet sort of thing, I can't fucking remember, it, I guess, yeah, probably woodwind, I guess gives it that like whimsical, sort of vibe, do you know what I mean? There you go. Fuck you, you prick. There you go. Um, and I can definitely, I can definitely, uh, empathise with that point of view. I can definitely, I can even somewhat agree with it, uh, that it actually does sound like that. So that's, that's actually a pretty cool thing. I guess the thing is, is that, let's go down there. But actually, let's not. Actually, yes, let's, sorry, fuck. Me speed up. Um, the thing is, if you think about like what, like the Jack 
2 soundtrack and just how fucking good it was, like, sort of ambient, it was just brilliant, like, just some, a lot of, like, real-life sounds, sort of sound like, uh, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it's absolutely tremendous, if you ask me, I'm, I'm a ginormous fan of it, uh, the more that I, like, think about it, the more I enjoy it, like, you know, the first music, the first level in, in the, in that level, like, how fucking cool is that music, like, the, ding, 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 ding. Okay, I could keep going forever, but yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome, and don't you forget it. And you know, I might even overlay it at some point just to say, like, here's the track, yeah, like, here's here's a tra here's a couple tracks from the game. Uh, here, you know, here's why it's so good and stuff like that. But anyway, we've got this section here sort of closed off there's a way to do this level and do like this particular section last and I would like to do that because that way it would mean that we'd like perfectly end up in like sort of like a round loop so that means that we have to uh, let's think here we are here we need to get above so let's go through this way first okay yeah I know where it is okay so for example one of the ways you can go through there and we're not going to do that for now. That's that's going to be what we probably do last. So probably should have taken the other path first. But anyway, oh, yeah, a bit confused. Alright, anyway, go across here. What what the hell is this machine anyway? Like what the? What's its aim? Oh shit! No, don't do that, please. Yes. Oh, oh, that was fancy. Oh, you know, what, you know what though? I can't be an idiot now because I'm gonna fall. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Where have I gotta go? Over here. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Going over here without a freaking, without a fucking clue. All right. Let me go back so I don't embarrass myself and have to like redo that entire section. All right. Oh, well, I think I'm going to have to. Shit. Oh, no. Almost there. Alright. Well, at least I tried. Okay, we'll go back. See, like, this is all cool, but, like, I feel like this needs to be more intense, more gritty. You know, like, more... Oh, just, you know, I don't know. Maybe some break beats in there. Maybe go, go Ratchet and Clank-esque. Alright, there's that one. Oh, you know what? I'm a fucking idiot, because I don't think I have enough to even go across, I thought, oh, I wasn't even looking at the meter, Jesus Christ, alright, there we go, there's that one, and yes, thank you very much, alright, so now, look at this, this is actually perfect in terms of where we've been left off, because this is exactly where I need to go, alright, alright, look at this, look at this, this is, this is my kind of cup of tea right here, wait a minute, Wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh shit, did I miss something? Wait a okay, I'm an idiot. This is this is the exact bit I was talking about where I you end up in the area that you meant to, but no. That was dumb as absolute dog shit. So I'm gonna replace it with Jack 2 music right now so it doesn't sound all distorted because it kinda like glitches the audio when you do it. So yeah, alright, okay, sorry guys, sorry guys for my stupidity. Now I'm gonna see if I can actually play this at double speed. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That was that was not bad. Not bad at all. Now, that's 6 out of 8. 7 and 8 should be down here now. So, we're actually doing pretty well. I was originally thinking, should I cut this into 2? And then I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's... Oh, no, this is the way. Okay. What is going on now? Okay, now... Okay. I'm getting mixed up as to where i got to go, what i got to do. This should be right. So those guys, you basically have to like scare them off, um, or not scare. Yeah, you you sort of have to piss off, and then they come back because they kind of get scared of you. Do you know what I mean? So that's the trick. So oh, these guys here, we can just hit them normally. I don't know why I did that. Um, we got that, and then we want to jump down. Be careful not to fall off. And then go across here. This is a cool section. Bit a bit tough in terms of platforming, but. 
cool regardless. It's funny, like, I have all these random memories, like, practicing through these levels, playing them, and, like, listening to different podcasts. Like, I was listening to Survivor-based podcasts here, because why not? You know, like, MMA and the other level. What have I got next? we got to, like, listen to some re- more wrestling-related stuff. That'd be cool. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll make a Spyro podcast and listen to myself. All right, here we go. See, it's this downward dog bit. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck is downward dog? Like, it's some reference. I, I can't remember. I don't know why. But it's, I, I, I thought, you know, I heard downward and I thought, yeah, downward dog. Okay. Anyway, got to go across here. There seems to be this, like, whole bunch of, like, inconsequential areas here. Like, I'll show you what I mean. It's This is kind of random. But, like, you see this, right? You think, oh, this is pretty cool. What's going on here? But it's actually, like, leads pretty much to nowhere. Like, you can easily get to this area, like, earlier. Um, okay, there we go. Don't mind me, and please don't die. There you go. Like that. Holy crap. That almost seems useless. Like, what the fuck is the point of this? Alright, because look, look, look. Here you can get to this section, but you don't even need it. Do you know what I mean? You could just easily make it across with, like, one jump. So that's that's why I don't quite understand with the whole, the whole point of this. It's, it's uh, kind of random. Anyway, there's 22. Still got a few, fair few enemies to kill. And you know what? I'm going to utilize this because, look at this, just the destruction you can do with that flamethrower. My god. It is electrifying. It is the rock of all flamethrowers, or abilities, whatever, okay, come on, die you piece of shit, there you go, stun, and then kill, I'm gonna set, what is it, set phases to, from stun to kill, oh god, like Woody and Buzz, actually speaking of Woody's uh, voice actor, randomly, I saw the movie Sully a couple days ago, um, or a couple weeks ago, actually, that's the time this video's be up, probably like or over two weeks ago or something like that, yep, Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Sound congested. Uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic movie. Like, I mean, not like a super high, you know, fast-paced film by any stretch, but that was the whole point. Uh, and there's like, you know, some great sequences with the plane crash and blah, blah, blah. You know, sometimes I think with all the shit I reference, like, I mean, move over unlisted leaf. Like, I could shill any product. I reckon, I reckon I could shill anything, which is something to not, you shouldn't be ridiculously proud of and obviously I don't mean that as any offense to Ando like well done for being able to get like all these companies and having the subscriber base and stuff but that but if I if I was a bigger channel oh, I would be able to shill as if I have as if I'm as if I'm not selling out do you know what I mean I would uh, maybe maybe I shouldn't maybe you should all just unsub so it never happens but no please don't do that anyway we got eight out of eight but there's still a few more things that we need to do namely collect four more of them and two more skull dingoes the question is where the fuck are they I've got no idea and that is concerning because I really need to know I okay, guess so that's that bit gone through there where could it be believe it or not George isn't at home please leave a message at the beep oh. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone where could I be Believe it or not, I'm not home. Okay, so there's that way there. Is this section here? Did I like fuck it up before, or is it they're just like another? There's nothing here. Okay, so there's nothing in there. This is the bit before. I think I already went through here, but I'm clearly missing like one distinct section, so maybe I should pause it, have a sip of my coffee that I really have needed to do for a while, and find the last bit of the level. So, see you in a sec, guys. Alrighty, here's our first prick. It's hiding here right at the start of the level. That's pretty, pretty easy for us. Alright, there you go. First one, and is there a second one? No, not yet. Okay, so... Doing alright, we've got one more enemy and we've got what, uh, four more thingamajigs, so let's let's go get it. Beautiful crystals! You have no idea how much those Haven City suckers are paying for this stuff! Off you go then. Well fuck you, man. You douche. Come on. 
Okay. Oh, look at that. How convenient. There's our, there's our last guy. Um, yeah, so we don't... I accidentally missed that like first five seconds of that cutscene, so I apologize for that. But, um, oh, you know what? I reckon I know where the last ones are, and it's funny. I think I made fun of it, and I'm pretty sure I know where it is. And sorry if my voice was really low there. Sorry, I'll fix that now. Could this be one? Yes, it is. Where the hell are the last three, though? Like, where have they? Get, where have like? Where have I misplaced them? Where, where did I? Where was the bit I missed? It, it must be relatively obvious. I'm guessing. Can't be this. I'm pretty sure I already destroyed. Yeah. Okay. We'll find those last three. All right. So here's. Look at this. This is really weird. I've got to hit. I've got to hit that. Like somehow get enough air in order to get like. Oh, I get so little air that I actually. There you go. There we go. Now have a look at this. Look at this fancy shit right here. It's all involving turning around, which is something I always tell you guys to do. Have a look at that. See? There you go. That's 50 out of 50. Done. Not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Alright, let's head out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. If we can. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's the strip mine. Done in, hopefully, under 20 minutes, I reckon. I'd, I'd like to hope so. Maybe 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, guys, here we are. We've got, what have we got? Oh, that's right. I think we got a really cool, like, important story mission next, actually. This is actually really cool. Listen to this. That's right. Yeah, the Breezy Valley mission. Okay, so we got one more Breezy Valley in the next part, which should be cool. Let's end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And in the next part, we're going back to Breezy Valley. See you then.